Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about your financial life as a car and wondering who is sitting in that driver's seat. Is it you? And how did you get into that position? Were you forced into that position because of a life circumstance? But more importantly, do you feel comfortable there? In a few moments, I'll be going through an activity with you that you can do from the comfort of your home. And it just kind of helps you get comfortable, get familiar with what it means for you individually to be driving that car. Because when we're forced into the driver's seat of our financial life because of the death of a, a spouse or a divorce with a spouse, we're dealing with a lot more emotion. Then you're forced into a practical space and you've never had to necessarily deal with it before. Particularly with women, um, we might be a little bit more familiar and traditionally the bookkeepers of the family, we might keep the checkbook, we might pay the bills, but when it comes to investing or bigger picture items um, for the family's financial future, you feel uncomfortable. But we do know that we have these intuitions within us. The problem is that some of these intuitions are spot on and we don't trust ourselves with them. And then the other problem is that we have intuitions that are actually detrimental to our financial future. And so we have to be able to embrace the intuitions that are genuine and true and good and the way we should be using our money, but we also need to be forewarned and just aware of those intuitions that are counter to what we should be doing with our money. Okay, so you're probably sitting there like, all right, I've got intuition, great. How do I know what's genuine and how do I know what's counter to what I should be doing? Today I want to talk about the genuine side of things in a very practical manner that you're very familiar with. Let's talk about some purchases that you've made within the last year. Okay, so 2017, beginning of January to October as this film date is, um, what are some of those purchases that you've made that have made a really big impact on your life? So some of those purchases are going to be high dollar amount and some of those purchases are going to be low dollar amount. So take a little bit of time, pause this video, and write those down. I'm going to talk about two of my purchases from this year, from this last year and a half or so, that have been the most profound for me. One, you probably, if you've been on this channel for a little bit, you will have seen my savings tip um, talking about the power of vinegar. Vinegar is like one of the cheapest things you can buy at, this, at the grocery store, um, but I really love it. it. It just hits on a lot of things for me. One, it's inexpensive. Two, it's a really good cleaner. Three, it's great on the environment. Four, it can double as so many things, including it's edible. The other purchase I'm going to talk about is a larger purchase, and I'm going to say this with a little bit of vulnerability here, so please bear with me. Um, so my husband and I, we have a small home in the middle of Canton. Canton, Ohio is a urban area and um, really it's been economically depressed for a long time. So house prices here are ridiculously low. My husband grew up on the lake, Lake Michigan to be specific. So we decided that upon purchasing our home in Canton several years ago, that as soon as we had paid off our student loans, we wanted to start looking at a lake house. And I say that with a little bit of uh, vulnerability <laughs> because I recognize that some people see that as very um, wasteful with money. But for us, it's very important because we are, we've planted ourselves in a city and there's a lot going on in a city and it's, it can be wearing just to live in an urban, in an urban area. So during the summers when I'm able to get away on the weekend, it's just, I'm at ease. I'm able to be with fully present with my kids. I'm able to set work aside, um, and just really engage and enjoy nature and be out in the water. It's fantastic. Additionally, I can share that asset with others. I can let uh, my friends and family go and stay down there and have a little retreat of their own. So those are two of my purchases. They really shine my values. Those are really good pieces of information, that intuition that we have within us that drives the way that we that we use our money. All right, friends, that's all I have for today. Make sure you do go through that process of writing down three items that you've purchased within the last year that you're super excited about that you would promote to anybody and uh, really distill those down. Keep, keep asking why those are important to you and distill that down into your values because those values, that piece of information is so pivotal into knowing how you're going to be using your money moving forward. And with that, you take care.